paint you a picture. The year was 1996. A young Jason Baxter, if you can imagine this face being any younger looking no than it is. <laughs> well, he had just gotten his first home computer and internet connection, and it turns out he wasn't the only one dialing up that modem. No, people were starting to rely on the information superhighway for things like e-greetings and online shopping. We're going to travel back to 1996 in tonight's Flashback Friday. The weather outside may be frightful, but this Bridgewater High School teacher doesn't care. Anyone with a home computer connected to the internet can get ready for Christmas without leaving their keyboard. Instead of trekking through the snow to the post office, this year John Scott is sending his Christmas cards via email. This worldwide website allows him to choose a design, compose his own message, and even add a musical accompaniment. And it's all free. I'm not sure it's superior, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of selection, you can change things, you can change cards, you can send more than one card. Once you've emailed Christmas cards to everyone on your list, it's time to decorate. And the internet can help there too. You can download just about anything from Santa Claus screensavers to this utility. No matter what application you're using, it'll add a festive touch to your computer screen. While you're listening to those computer-generated Christmas carols, you can download the text of a Yuletide classic to read. Santa's embraced the internet, too. A number of sites will forward your letter to the North Pole. Some even promise a reply. Once you've sent your wish list, you can work on your shopping list. More and more maritime retailers are offering their wares online. When you've found the perfect gift, click on Order, fill in the essential details, and your gift is on the way. Suzanne Warner runs this Halifax store's website. It gives them a, a way to see our merchandise, read about our merchandise, and even email us and ask us questions about our merchandise. With all these services available online, it won't be long before computer users won't have to leave home at all over the holidays. I wish everybody I knew had email addresses. In Bridgewater, Jonathan Cash, ATV News.